Nothing like getting multiple videos out of one piece of content. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of parkour out there. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to part number three of three of uh, Rugby player reacts to the biggest hits of the 2021-22 NFL season. Look, I'm not going to lie. Um, I started off pretty pretty strong, actually. I started the year off fucking strong. Um, I reckon I live-streamed a reaction to the majority of the preseason games, and I don't know what happens, guys. I don't know why this happens. I don't know how it's happened year after year, but I, I make it to the regular season, and... I don't know, my personal life changes, things change, my geographical location changes, and 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 um, look, it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. My, my in-depth coverage of a, a particular regular season of the NFL, it just doesn't happen, or it hasn't happened yet. So I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping the next season we can do it. But for this season, all we've got left is a few playoff games. We've got the Super Bowl left in a, in a short couple of weeks, or three weeks actually. Um, but but there is one thing I can always do, and that's you know watch highlights of whatever whatever team game year or season, and um, you know create content that way. So that's what we're doing, guys. That's what we're doing. I apologise for anyone who did expect me to be here for live streams of games throughout the entire season. I'm sorry, it didn't happen. But I'm here now for part three of three of the biggest hits of the 2021-22 season. So guys, I stand here. 31 years of age, 6 foot 1, 215 pounds. I've played rugby my entire life, but I've taken a real interest in the world of NFL for the last three or four years. Let's continue that. To it. Second down, Darnold lets it flop. It is picked off by... Well, that's fucking rude. Darius Slay. <laughs> that's fucking... Well, that's, lets it flop. <laughs> that's real rude. Um, not only... Okay, so in, in, in quick succession, you not only see the pass that's meant for you be picked off right in front of your very eyes by a defender, but not only that, you come back to the ground and you get absolutely cleaned up from the other side. I mean, what? What? That's just not fair. You didn't even get a finger on the ball. You didn't even get close to getting a finger on the ball. And uh, not only do you let a, a pick six get in, but you also get cleaned up for your troubles. I mean... That's got to be one of the worst plays ever for a wide receiver. It's picked off by Darius Slay. There's not much you can do, except for get up off your ass and try and tackle the guy. Slay returns. I'm pretty sure that's what he does. We won't see it. Tell you what I do enjoy: some 60 frames per second action, rather than your, you know, 480, 720 type that we saw in the last clip. This. This is nice. This is good quality. I like it. I'm sure about that after watching it back either. And I think Matt LaFleur scares the outside kick try. Oh, what have we set? What what have we got here? Ah, oh, that was savage, all right. By Adrian Davis. Wow, well, seven and six. Ty Hill to the outside, blasted on the play. Catch made by Hilliard, and he got tattooed. I'm not going to call it a tattoo, I'd call it a nice rap, wrapping um, tackle there. Yeah, it's just a decent tackle, I'm not going to say it's the biggest hit. But we do have 20 minutes of footage to get through. I mean, I've got to give credit to the, um, well, looks like a fair few others have given him credit too. He's got 1.26 million subscribers, Ding Productions. Do I subscribe? Ah, uh, why not? But yeah, credit to Ding Productions for putting together 20 minutes straight of the biggest hits of the 2021-22 season. I'm, I'm, th I'm sitting here thinking, as a content creator, does he does he collect the clips throughout the year to then create a, a, a video like this at the end of the year? Or does he... I've got to assume, guys, I've got to assume that he collects the clips throughout the year, uploading them one by one as highlights, then knowing that at the end of the year he's going to collate them all to create an epic video just like this. And I tell you what, if that's the way he does it, you're a smart man, ding. You're a smart man. 
Nothing like getting multiple videos out of one piece of content. <laughs> Bit of parkour out there. Oh, and again, but this time lands on. Well, nothing but his head. Godwin. Oh, I tell you what, if you didn't break your leg, can you get any closer to breaking someone's leg? Literally, going shoulder first, like a kamikaze pilot, right into the side of someone's knee. That should not be allowed. That's disgusting. But that's NFL football for you. Mike, I'm gonna... <laughs> Flag. He finds McKissick who has it knocked out by Savage. Tell you what, that doesn't look like the Packers, that looks like Oregon. I don't think I've ever seen a retro dark green Packers uniform like that. Can anyone let me know down in the comment section below? What what is this? Was it retro round? I don't know. Now Savage. But it was a big hit. Decent pass breakup, I mean. Didn't really have to use much of his body, just his, his arm. Let's have a look. He finds Bang! <laughs> Almost like a big, a big right hook, um, if we're talking boxing. Look at this. Both, I'm gonna say both guys go up for it. I mean, it's a, it's a split, a split second um, between our Washington man catching the ball and then you know bracing uh, for con. In fact, it was yeah less than a split. In fact, he he had no time to brace for the contact, and that's probably why the ball goes flying. Finds McKissick yeah. has it knocked out by Savage. Darnell Savage. Yeah, nice. We actually saw Darnell Savage on the opposite side of a hit um, just just previous. That was Savage. This is Savage. Let's continue. Here is oh no! Oh no! You got to get in. You gotta get in, Jones. Jabril Cox made the tackle. They are going oh, for it. Oh, oh man. Wow. Mike Glennon is the backup quarterback for Ooh, the Giants. Ooh, tell you what, guys, we've seen some heavier hits than that. And Jones couldn't walk straight. I mean, I'll tell you what, for someone who's gone in for a big hit, if the camera's not on them straight after the hit, they could be rolling around, they could be well, they could be in orbit, to be honest. They could be in space. Um, and yet, thrown back out there to take on the, the opposition once again. Wow. Mike Glennon is the backup quarterback. I'll tell you what, we've seen hits far worse than that. Yes, we have. And if a hit like that, I'll tell you what, if a hit like that can, can have someone out on their feet, like Daniel Jones just was, imagine, imagine the effects of some of these hits we've seen thus far. I mean, it's, it's doesn't bear thinking about for the Giants. When it will begin from the gun. Here they come. Football is loose. Bears recover inside the 10 and forced out of bounds. It's Bilal Nichols. Bilal Nichols. Second and six. Claypool coming over the block for Harris. And Harris is taken down. And then you're going to show Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams. Oh my gosh. Would you expect anything less? It's coming over. Yeah, that's that's not going to do you very well. I mean, I mean, you need two feet on the ground to be able to move any which way. Um, I know Tom Brady loves a bit of a a bit of a bounce in the pocket, but not that high, not that high. Devon Kennard. Well, that's a positive for that. Here's Schultz somehow snagged it, and then gets drilled by Chin. Now the ball's out again, and Carolina may have it this time. You got to hold on to that ball, and uh, look, I don't know if the wide receivers talk about your four or five points of contact, but the running back certainly does. And um, what are we going to see here? We're going to see Edward Zelaya running out into the flat, turning backwards, getting the pass from Mahomes. He's four yards out. We've got two Green Bay Packers running across with the sole job, the sole intention of stopping this man from scoring a touchdown. What happens? Oh, 
Well, I only needed one man and, and one hit, and what a hit it was. Look at this. Boof! See ya! That is 1v1, if you ever did see it in the world of American football. Man versus man. Packer versus Chief. And, uh, well, you know the old saying, too many Chiefs in the kitchen. Actually, how, how does it go? Surprised his helmet didn't come off there. In fact, is that... No, he got an, he got a hip injury out of college, didn't he? He's gonna have an open guy. No, that's, that's a rib injury. And that don't feel nice at all. Pressure picked up, there's a flag down. Rudolph is gonna run for the first down. Hit hard when he got near the... <laughs> got all open up to his left-hand side and he just... Boomfa! Tell you what, that'll make you feel good. Second string quarterback lowering his shoulder against, uh, well, it might be the Detroit Lions, but it is a, an NFL caliber defensive back. And uh, the defender comes off second best. That's a result. Pulled the ball down and got the yards for the first down. Yeah, he really came off second. Young Hoku! Don't mind a bit of Young Hoku. Loved the guy when he played for the, um, the purple uniformed Atlanta Legends a couple of years back. Uh, he stayed in Atlanta, he's an Atlanta boy. What's gonna happen here? Can't imagine he'd be enforcing the hit, but he is kicking off. That was probably the addendum <laughs> to that tweet. And when you think about one of the biggest hits of the NFL season happening. Going to work. Harris, a little bit of room at the 25, and he's banged down by young white Oh, he did it! He did it. No wonder he was part of the Atlanta legends back in the day. He's an absolute legend. He's got a hit. He's got a decent hit. Probably not as impressive as Mitch Wisnowski's hit. Um, against the Denver Broncos last year, but uh, look, I mean, I'll back a kicker to the hills, and I'll certainly back a kicker who's willing to put his body on the line and, and take a tackle. So let's have a look at that again. Harris, a little bit of room with the 25, and he's banged <laughs> down. By well, the well, well, look, he tackled by the kicker. <laughs> yeah, he might have taken out Harris, but he took out one of his own players too. Young Ho Koo, what a legend. 27 yard line. Blitz coming. Picked up. How did he get this? He throws it. It's incomplete. The hit came from Crosby, and there's a penalty at the end of it. Here's third one. Thrown for it. That is a worry. That is a real worry. Whew, he's out on his feet and he's still... Well, he held the ball. I mean, that's that's something. It's Fulton right there that hit him. Just a big hit. I don't think it was... I don't think it was a head collision as such, but it was just a... Just a really, really big, shocking hit. Staggered him. Certainly staggered him, that's for sure. Man, nah. see that every day. First down and goal. Rogers keeps, floats, pass, is caught by Cobb for the touchdown. What an incredible throw. What an incredible touch by the great man Aaron Rodgers. I mean, he knows where he needs to get the ball. He's got pressure in his face and he can still, you know, get that little that that side sort of angled pass. I mean it's it's no Philip Rivers, but very effective. I mean, we've all seen that one, right? <laughs> this was a meme for about two weeks straight. Because I, I, I do believe that around this time, Aaron Rodgers was in the news for, well, more than the NFL. In fact, um, certain beliefs around certain injections being given. Uh, but we won't go there. What we do have is a meme and a half. Look at that. Look at it. Empty backfield. Wilson looking more his way. Nobody there. Wilson. Ah, what can you do, eh? What can you do? What can you do when your tackles aren't doing their job? Not much. Is that Matthew? No, it's Thornhill. Matthew was in the vicinity, but not quite. Alright, what are we going to do here? Kirk Cousins. He's going to fake it. He's going to fake the pass out to the flat to Jefferson and give it to Delvin Cook, running through the middle. Or he could well do the opposite, let's see. Nope, he fires to Justin Jefferson. He's gonna get lit up. He's gonna get lit up. We're talking overtime here, guys. 28 all, deep 
in Carolina's territory. Let's see what happens. That's a big stop. That's a big stop by Carolina. In the third quarter, week two against Tennessee. And it's still bothering them. Curtis Samuel. He's back in the lineup. Eight yards. It's a fake. Oh, Boswell looking, looking, throwing, incomplete. Get out of here, Boswell. Boswell took a hit, too. Second down and four. Drops pass. Why was that not continued as a play? In a situation like this, Humbley steps up. Humbley gets crushed. <laughs> yeah, you ain't going nowhere. Look at the size difference. 97 for the Steelers. How how big is that fella? Is that Billy Nueva? No, it's good old Cameron Hayward. He's been on the top 100 list for the best part of the last seven or eight years. Yeah, not surprised. Second down, eight, fake the way. Look out from behind, they dump it out with a screenplay. <laughs> oh no! That's literally like a left. Well, for Mac Jones, it'd be like, you know, throwing the ball, then copping a, a big right hook, followed by a big left hook. Um, what do you do? I mean, what do you do at that moment? You just take it like a champ and hope you don't meet them in a, a dark alleyway um, later on that night, maybe. Bang, bang. Oh no, that's not nice. It's not nice at all. Boomfer. Completely illegal in the game of rugby, but anything goes in the NFL. Now that calls for a fair catch, if ever did see it. I mean, seriously, what are you thinking? Pringle must have gone from the Chiefs to the Broncos. Williams didn't get it. So they generate some points. There he is, crossing receiver, grabs it. Gets a first down. That's the thing, man. You might have four points of contact. You might even have eight points of contact. All right, I don't know how you hold the ball. Is it possible? Could be. Um, but at the end of the day, look, you can do well to hold the ball still after getting hit from one side. But if you go and get hit, but if you go and get hit from the other side in quick succession, I mean, you're gonna do well to hold the ball. You really are. <laughs> like, like, seriously, the way people come in, it's not just tackling. There are some people out there that play just like Mike Tyson. They go, is it Chase Clay? No, it's not Chase Claypool. It's, I can remember correctly, is it Eric Kendricks, who is the Mike Tyson of the NFL at the moment? Look, I couldn't be sure. That's the name that comes to mind. You're gonna have to correct me if I'm wrong. And we've only got 25 seconds left of the video, so let's go. Five-man rush as Ramsey pops off as he got rid of it. Jalen Ramsey with the heat. <laughs> Tell a lie, guys. That's the end of the video. That is part number three of three of uh, Rugby Player React, the biggest hit to the 2021-22 NFL season. I'm gonna do my very best to uh, get these edited and uploaded for you guys as soon as possible. Whether you've enjoyed yourself or you know whether you're here just because you cannot help but click on a Rugby Player Reacts video. I don't know. Either way, I appreciate you. Without you guys, this channel would be absolutely nothing and um, I wouldn't be having the fun that I am having at the moment. Jesus, we're in Christchurch, not Alice Springs. There's no flies around here. Either way, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.